let's see you view the back of the building. In the previous video we applied the UV grid to everything, but I think that was a mistake. It's hard to tell what we need to UV and what already has been UV'd. So what I'm going to do is apply the Fong default material to everything and then apply the UV grid texture material to already UV'd meshes. This way, when you see the UV grid material on the object, that means that that mesh has already been UV'd. So let's assign the UV grid material to the main building and to the windows, glass, and the interior space. And now it's a lot easier to tell visually what has already been UV'd. Let's select the back and assign UV grid texture material. Eventually, this piece of geometry will be attached to the main building. Apply automatic unwrap and go to face component mode. We need to remove faces that we don't need. So we'll delete this face on the inside and all the faces on the bottom. We have a face in the front that is mainly being hidden by the stairs, except for a small part of it at the top. So let's insert an edge loop and we need to enable preserve UVs. So double click on the move tool settings and enable preserve UVs. Double click on the edge loop, hold X and drag it down to snap so it aligns with the top of the stairs. This will be 20 units from the top, and just to check, we have our grid spacing set to 10. Let's switch over to face component mode, and now we can delete this face, and the face on the other side. Let's check to see that we deleted everything we needed to. And we have a couple of faces facing the inside and the back of the building, so we need to delete them. The rest of this is going to be similar to what we did with the main building. We're going to select all the UVs, drag them outside 0 to 1 space, then set the same texture density, and begin to arrange each shell so it has correct orientation and we know what that shell is. How you want to arrange each shell is completely up to you. I usually place certain pieces next to other UV shells so I can easily tell where they would connect along the shared edge. And remember, we will end up rearranging everything when we have to pack them in inside 0 to 1 space for our final layout. As you can see, we're moving along a lot faster since we covered all the basics in the first video and we UV'd the major shape first. And here we are. We have everything arranged and now let's position these UVs next to the main building. Bring everything back into view. So press Ctrl 1 if you're using Isolate Select. And then make sure you select the back and the main building so we can see its UVs. And then move the back building UVs right here next to the main building. I'm going to select these UVs again and just double check that the texel density is the same. So I'm going to set it again. One more thing is to delete history. So delete history on the back and make sure you also delete history on the main building if you haven't done so yet.